Well, many Memphians know that Regional One Health is the only level one trauma center in a 150 mile radius from Memphis. But people may not know that in 2021, a $28 million investment into the oncology program, advanced cancer treatment technology that's benefited more than 40,000 patients in the last three years. I met one of them, a man named Robert Mayweather, whose life-saving experience shows that Regional One's care goes beyond trauma only. This is real European power. Perhaps the roar of the engine that's been heavily modified makes Robert Mayweather feel alive. Especially after the 58 year old almost lost his life three years ago. Started having a, a lot of gastric disturbances. My GI doctor thought that I may have caught some type of bug. When he went in to do the colonoscopy, he found a tumor and rushed me to the hospital for emergency surgery. Afterwards, they told me they didn't think I had three months to live. One doctor came in, said, well, you've got you know, metatastic colon cancer that has metastasized to your liver and lungs. With advanced stage four colon cancer, Mayweather's new normal was chemotherapy and a colonoscopy bag that three surgeons wanted no part in removing. After two years, his oncologist, Dr. Ramakrishna Bettini at the West Cancer Center and Research Institute referred him to Dr. David Shibata, the executive director of Regional One Health's cancer program. What I saw on paper for him made sense. But then I didn't associate that quality initially with Regional One. Really, I always perceived it as a trauma center. I never knew anything about their oncology care. Health care outcomes, and particularly cancer outcomes, in the Mississippi Delta region are amongst the worst in the nation. U.S. News Health's notorious annual Best Hospitals for Cancer Rankings puts University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center at number one. Vanderbilt University Medical Center's score of 61.7 out of 100 earned the 40th spot and the only Mid-South hospital to make the top 50. Regional One didn't have enough cancer patients to receive a rating, but the report on colon cancer surgery showed high scores for nurse staffing better than average for keeping patients who received chemotherapy from going to the emergency room, and average for preventing unplanned visits after a patient had a colonoscopy. Just within the past two years, the growth of the cancer care at this institution has grown dramatically. Lots of great investments, including cutting edge operating room suites, brand new, dedicated oncology inpatient units, also a fully renovated, uh, full service outpatient cancer unit as well. All the bells and whistles needed for Dr. Shibata to successfully complete Mayweather's nine hour complex surgery last September. He removed the bag, he fixed a, a mucous fistula, which was another, I had a opening in my stomach that just looked like a big round hole where you could see intestines and I would have to cover it with a patch and then I had a hernia, and he fixed all of it. It was not just battling his cancer, but trying to maximize his quality of life. It's changed my life for the better. <laughs> <laughs> I say it'll roll, it will roll. And with more gas in the tank, Mayweather has Regional One to thank. If right now, MD Anderson called, said, hey, come down and let us take a look at you, I wouldn't have a reason to go. I would not trade. The, the care that I got in Regional One. I think our goal for, for patients is to understand that it's not just for trauma anymore. Dr. Shibata is also chair of the surgery department at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. Regional One's affiliation with the university streamlines the process for cancer research and clinical trials. In fact, clinical trials to medically and surgically treat ocular melanoma spread to the liver is only being offered at three health centers in America, and Regional One Health is one of them.